Welcome. I'd like to show you the initial version of the open badges for Blackboard Building Block. First of all, open badges are a way to centralize many credentials around the Mozilla organization. Students uh, can uh, collect credentials from various uh, places, organizations, and carry them throughout uh, their travel uh, across organizations. So we are using Blackboard at Grand Rapids Community College and we'd like to include uh, these credentials uh, and the ability to, um, to collect them right inside of our learning management system. To do so, we are using the uh, Open Badges building block. Let me show you how you can use uh, right now the first version of it which uh, helps us to uh, advertise the badges and uh, and display them. So right now we're looking at how um, the displayer system works. Basically, um, I will go ahead and, um, as an instructor, create recreate this particular view. Uh, I'll first uh, delete the existing one and uh, create a new one. Uh, the building block is using the mashup uh, technology so any item which the instructor creates inside of a course and that can be located anywhere uh, we go, go ahead and we'll say um, uh, my badges the instructor can add any text any explanation or or uh, arguments to why open badges are used in the course but then go ahead and select the display open badges from the mashup menu uh, this is going to uh, take us to uh, a few informational uh, points for faculty who perhaps are not yet exposed to open badges there is no configuration required you just say submit and what's happening now is we are creating uh, a content item now this content item uh, has two elements. It has a picture which is auto-generated based on the context uh, of the Blackboard Learning Management System. So depending on who is looking at this picture, the content of the picture changes. And uh, then we have a link which the picture is a part of it, as well as this text. And this will take you to the second more detailed display of the badge. So this is where the uh, instructor can add more content. You can modify any of this text and to customize it. I'll go ahead and hit Submit. This part right now of saving uh, is, is not related to the building block. How long this takes is just the nature of our uh, test system uh, that we're using. Uh, while this is happening, I encourage you to uh, read through some of the uh, open badges material. Uh, I encourage you to take a look at the badges that are already available out there. So all you have to do is in the various spots of your course just link out to organizations and places that issue badges. And um, these mini credentials help to uh, track projects. They help to uh, investigate um, uh, skills uh, and uh, and track progress. While this is saving, uh, let me show you uh, what this uh, looks like. Um, like any good cooking show, here are some things that I've done uh, previously. Uh, for a user that has no badges at all, this is what the building block will display. It'll say, hello, welcome to Open Badges. Here is the email address that we have in store. So it's very important that the emails which are already stored in Blackboard which the uh, student doesn't have really capacity of changing most of the time. Those are emails issued by the organization. The student needs to know that this is exactly what they need to type in when they create their account. When they have no access to badges, they just click on the, uh, on the uh, link or image and they can get started with getting their first badge. This badge basically uh, is about open badges and there's a little test that you take and create an account and you are uh, getting started uh, with with open badges. Once open badges are created, uh, I mean once the account is created and open badges are being collected, 
then this um, uh, the display will be different. And let me see if I have a, uh, if I, if I have a, a way to show that. So uh, this is still saving the uh, the test system is not performing all that well. Uh, but basically, once you have a badge, then the badge counter will go ahead and show uh, how many you have, what badges you have, and then the uh, the link will take you to the detailed display uh, of badges. Uh, okay, so here it is saved. Uh, we'll go ahead and turn off the edit mode. Okay, and now we can go ahead and click on either links. It will take us to the same place. And now this is what the actual detailed display of badges uh, looks like. And uh, we can click on any of the badges to actually go and see um, the, the reference URL, which tells us what the badge means, how it was earned, and uh, what the credential is that we're advertising. So this is a preview of the version one of the open badges for Blackboard Building Block. This particular image is content context sensitive, which means that we can display this image even on the public side of of Blackboard or inside of the Blackboard portal. So that the moment the user logs in, you can already um, view the image. Okay, so and, and, and when you view the image, of course, um, there there is a, a context sensitive um, uh, functionality so that the uh, the counter of the badges will already indicate how many badges the user has. Uh, excellent. Uh, I will refresh this uh, just to show you that uh, once I logged in, here is this test user account. Uh, it is able to uh, collect uh, the email from uh, the LMS system. Well, thank you very much, and I hope that uh, we can introduce the open badges uh, to Blackboard and uh, uh, keep the engagement uh, with students, encourage them to explore various uh, skills and, and opportunities, and then have the documentation so that they can make it part of their uh, employment uh, profile and resume. Thank you very much.